in the gospel text of today, we will come across a Jesus who Mark brings to our attention as someone in whom there was a synchrony, a harmony between his word and his action. Because Mark begins by telling us that Jesus came into Capernaum and even as he came into Capernaum, on the Sabbath day, he entered the synagogue, the place where one would worship God. And Jesus enters the synagogue and begins to teach because he was regarded as a rabbi, he was regarded as a teacher. He begins to teach. And this teaching is in words. This teaching is a verbal teaching. However, after the people hear this teaching, they are taken aback. They are amazed. And Mark says, they were astonished at his teaching because he taught as one with authority and not as the others would teach. And so the question is, what is Mark saying when he tells us that Jesus taught with authority? In a very simple way, Mark is saying that Jesus would teach the people what he did. So in other words, there was no need for Jesus to prepare his teaching, to prepare his sermons, to prepare his homilies simply because he said who he was. So the teaching of Jesus is a teaching with authority because it was about his person and it was a teaching which came from within and not from books, not from his reading. It came from his experience and from his In the second part of the gospel text of today, we are introduced to this teaching of Jesus in action. And even as Jesus is in the synagogue, there is a person who is possessed by a demon, by an unclean spirit. And the moment the unclean spirit sees Jesus, it recognizes him. And the reason why the spirit or the evil spirit could recognize Jesus is because Jesus outside was what he was within. And so this evil spirit is able to recognize that Jesus is the Son of God and uses this title for him, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And then the spirit asks, even though there is one spirit, the spirit uses the plural, have you come to destroy us? What does the Spirit mean by using the plural us? It means the whole demonic kingdom. The whole kingdom of the evil spirit. The kingdom of Satan and his minions. So Jesus, according to this demon, has come not merely to cast this demon out, not merely to exorcise this demon from this human being. He has come to destroy the whole demonic kingdom. And he does that not through violence. He does that through love. He does that through a synchrony of his word and action. In the first reading of today, God tells Moses that he is going to send another prophet. The English word prophet is from the Greek prosene, which means to speak on behalf of God. And that prophet whom God promised is the prophet par excellence in Jesus. Jesus, of course, is more than a prophet as the evil spirit recognizes. He is the Holy One of God, but he is a prophet because he speaks on behalf of God. He speaks the language of God. He tells what God has asked him to say. So with the coming of Jesus, 
the demonic kingdom is at an end. With the coming of Jesus, selfishness and self-centeredness are at an end. With the coming of Jesus, sinfulness is at an end. With the coming of Jesus, only love comes into play. With the word, Jesus is able to exercise this demoniac ancestor. Be silent and come out of him. The authoritative word. This is a verbal expression. Be silent and come out of him. Jesus has not performed an action. Jesus has spoken a word. And at the end, the people are so taken aback that what we were told about the teaching of Jesus at the beginning, he taught with authority and not as the others who learned from books, is repeated because the people ask, what is this? A new teaching. And so the question is, why was it a new teaching? It was a new teaching for two reasons. And the first was that it was a teaching with authority. It was a teaching which came from right within the core of the being of Jesus. And that is why it was a teaching with authority. Jesus never had to shout to be heard. His authority was seen, was recognized, was heard, even when his voice was soft. And second reason why the people say, what is this, a new teaching, is because this teaching is a new teaching which will remove sinfulness and self-centeredness which will remove the evil spirit and the demons, which will remove the kingdom of Satan and bring to the fore the kingdom of God. Will bring to the fore the kingdom of love. Will bring to the fore forgiveness and the exorcism of any kind of evil spirits. Each one of us is called today to be that profane whom God promised to Moses, that prophet whom God would send. Because today, the only Jesus whom people will hear and see and recognize is the Jesus that you and I will reveal. When we teach, let our teaching not merely be verbal proclamation. Let our teaching, like that of Jesus, be a teaching in action. How will you teach through one action today?